Hi there, this is Vivzier. In this video, let's play with the relational operators that we discussed in the previous video. I have two variables here, my age that stores 26 and your age that stores 18. Now I can try all the operators by saying say my age is greater than your age. Now remember that this is an expression and it returns a value which you will be storing inside say a result. And of course, the type of this result should be a boolean. Now you can print this value easily by saying s out and putting the result inside the print ln statement and this obviously is going to return true. If you say greater than equals to, you can simply write it as follows. This is again going to be true. If you have less than, this is going to be false. Less than equals to will also be false. Now equals equals would return false in this case. Now notice that I have this equal sign which is mixed up with this equals equals sign here. In simple words, if you are looking at a mathematical perspective, you won't understand what this statement means. But think about it from the programming perspective. We have equals equals operator that gets executed first and this these two variables are compared and their result which is false is going to be stored inside the result variable. Let's run this and confirm that. So there's your answer that says false. However, if my age were 18 and if I run the program again, this time it is going to show true. The same way I have not equals to as well. I can just remove the first equals sign and put the exclamation mark to indicate not equals. I can even remove one of the variables and put some other value over here. So everything looks great when you are trying to work with integers. But the problem arises when you are using floating point that is float or double data types. Let me show you a potential flaw where I say double number 1 and I'll add 0 0.7 and 0 0.1. Now this obviously is going to be 0 0.8. Let's try to make another number which is double. Let's call this number 2 and this one is going to be 0 0.9 minus 0 0.1 right and what do you expect this to be this is going to be 0 0.8 as well let's compare number one and number two and let's see what happens when i run the program you will notice that the answer is false over here we were expecting true i mean what could be wrong this is 0 0.8 and this is also 0 0.8 but java doesn't work that way because of the rounding errors that happen. Let me print the two numbers so that you can clearly see what number one looks like and what number two looks like. Let's run the program again. And notice that 0 0.7 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.799999 in a long string of nines over there. And the other answer is 0 0.8. This is why you cannot compare double values using the equals equals operator or the greater than equals or the less than equals for that matter. You need to use a different method to compare float or double values. The same program when I change the data type to a float instead of a double gives the same error. Notice that this time 0.7 plus 0.1 gives 0.8 but 0.9 minus 0.1 gives 0.79995. So let me remove this comparison print statement at the bottom and let me separate these two print statements. Now we are going to compare these two numbers using a special method called compare. Now there's a class called float which I'll say float dot compare. Notice that it accepts two floating point numbers. It is going to ask me give me the first number and I'll give it number one. Put a comma, give it the second number, number two and this is going to give you an integer and I'm going to store that inside a variable called result. Now remember that the type of result must be an integer and now I'm going to print this value on the screen by saying print result. Now let's run the program and find out what it does. If you notice the third value here one is what the result variable contained. So what does this mean? If number one is greater than number two, result will be one. If number one and two are equal, the result will be zero. 
otherwise the result will be minus 1. So if you take a look at the output that we got here, number 1 was 0 0.8 and number 2 was 0 0.79. The result is 1 indicating that number 1 is greater. The same way we can compare two double numbers. If I change the data type to double here, all I have to do is compare the numbers with the help of the double classes compare method. So I'll simply say double here and notice that I can run the program again and this time it's going to give me the same number. Now what if both the numbers were 0 0.6? Let's try to run that. I'll say 0 0.6 here and change it to 0 0.6 here as well. Now when I click run the program at the top, we will see the answer 0 for the result indicating that both numbers are same. So as part of the Googleables in this video, be sure to Google the following things. Float compare Java double compare Java and how to compare two double values in Java. So hopefully you guys have understood something about the whole comparison business in Java with respect to different data types. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.